Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about HIMSS. The stock is up about 12% after reporting earnings Q1 2024. And of course they've beat, beat, beat. And they have also raised their guidance. They have raised their guidance for Q2 and for 2024. This is not worthy. I just, I just, I just want to point that out. So this is the guidance for this year, the fiscal year 2024. And you may remember me complaining about the fact that they needed to update their long-term guidance that they gave us now 18 months ago. So 18 months ago, when I was covering the stock, I called this stock uh, the king of sandbagging. I said they were the pro at sandbagging because they were saying that by the end of 2025, I, we would have found this out in February of 2026, they were saying they would achieve for the year of 2025, fiscal year 25, they would achieve 1.2 billion in revenue and 100 million in EBITDA. They are now officially guiding that by the end of 24 they will have reached that so that is not as i as i thought i thought it was six months early that's actually actually a full year early we are now guiding that the long-term guidance they gave 18 months ago is gonna be achieved a full year early so if this is not a sign that this is a stock that is consistently winning, consistently outperforming. The, the, the strong revenue growth that we've witnessed 18 months, 12 months, six months back, that revenue growth is still the same and is still very strong. This is a business with a, 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 a model that is resonating with the customer, right? Hims is just not, as I ranted on Twitter today, is just not a sexual, a buzzy sexual health company, like a very famous journalist that I think used to be hired at CNN said today in some, some post in some major news site. It's, it's much bigger than that. It's not a buzzy company. This is a company that is becoming meaningful at 1.7 million subscribers. 1.7 million subscribers. They grew quarter over quarter. So from Q1 to Q4, they grew 11.2% the number of subs. So that so that's quite a bit and if I if I annualize that I I, I am a I, I am at about a fifty percent forty to fifty percent annualized rate in the in the in the rate of customers in the number of customers and of course the business is predicting that they will grow revenue in 2024 at 41%. So they're growing subscribers, they're growing revenue at roughly the same. Let's not forget that those subscribers, right, and they may be subscribers for just one drug, one prescription, they are also the subscribers of, of the future because in the future, you, you may have one subscriber take multiple pills, multiple drugs from him. If they're satisfied with either don't know their hair loss peel or their ED peel, they may say, oh, well, you know what? Hims has a good product for weight loss or a good product for heart health or for longevity or for libido or for depression, for anxiety, for birth control, whatever they sell. They may say, you know what? Let me just go with Hims for that second pill, that third pill, that fourth pill that people start to get when they reach their 30s, their 40s, their 50s. Pills are still the main way that we treat diseases. That's why there's a whole field called the field of pharmacy. The, the doctors is there, but the, the, the preferred way that doctors treat you, the most common way that one is treated for their ailment, especially minor one, minor health issues, that most common way is the pharmacy. It's the prescription drug. That's what HIMSS is trying to disrupt. And it's doing that by bundling the cost of the doctor, bundling the cost of the complexity of understanding the insurance reimbursement system, understanding how to take an appointment to, to, with the doctor, understanding primary care providers, specialists, all of that complicated hurdle. The, all those hoops you have to jump through to actually get in front of a doctor, they, they include that in your subscription. They package that. They package that visit. And another thing that they're pushing, which, which I think the market is not giving enough credit, 
to him for is the return of the compounding pharmacy. So what is the compounding pharmacy uh, concept? Is when you have a drug that is customized to you with just the right amount, just the right amount. You know, like if you take like a very, very commonly prescribed drug, for example, metformin for diabetes, extremely common drug. It's like it comes in five milligrams, uh, 500 milligrams, one gram. That's, that's what it comes as, right? What, what if based on, on your gender, your weight, what if your exact do dose is actually 317 grams? You can't do that with off-the-shelf drugs. You can do that with personalized medicine. One person, one drug with the exact amount of drug needed for that person that maximizes the outcomes for that person, that makes it better. HIMSS is implementing, because it is operating outside of insurance, because it doesn't have the hurdle, the red tape, the issues associated with insurance system and their reimbursement procedures and their legacy IT, because it doesn't rely on that stack, on that legacy infrastructure, it is able to apply what Netflix does for movies and shows, what YouTube does for videos, what Spotify does for music what Amazon does for stuff. Hims is doing that for drugs. R Recommender Systems is the, the number one applications of AI, like, like the, the most primitive form of AI that we've had is Recommender Systems. Recommender Systems are already at, say, the level that we wish full cell driving was. Like, they're already there. We're very good at Recommender Systems. That's why they're using this AI to bundle drugs together, to bundle the perfect drug for you in a single pill that addresses multiple concerns. And that's what they said, we, that's what they did with, for example, their hard mints with heart health in it, right? With, 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 with different products. You, you can mix everything. Their weight loss product is also about their weight loss products as four different drugs mixed differently based on your need. And that's their weight loss product. Four different compounds in the past you had to take four different pills from four different providers, four packs. You, you needed to have a pill pack. Now you don't. It's just one custom pill. Not to mention, when you have just one pill to take per day, and it's a custom pill to you, the patient is much, much more likely to take that pill. That's an advantage. And, 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 and another advantage is that you don't have to carry that pill pack around. You don't have to forget the pills. The, the, the whole idea of a custom prescription for a customer who is themselves unique makes so much sense to me. It is the era that we live in, and I think HIMSS is going to be able to, gener to, to generate personalized treatments for customers that are unique. And that's why, it's, it's, in my view, it's, even, it's, it's, it's a paradigm shift in how we treat healthcare. So I love that they're pushing the subscription business. Let me tell you just a little more about the, about the business model. And they, they've, they've, um, they've released a new slide uh, in their shoulder today, today which, which, I, which I think summarizes it very well, which is the problem with currently getting treated for minor health issues is that it, doesn't have, it, it, it most often doesn't justify jumping through the hoops of having to have an appointment with an actual physician, right? Not a nurse practitioner. Most health systems, they're going to want you to see a, a physician's assistant or a nurse practitioner. Most systems are going to push people to see you that may not be qualified for your need. If, say, the NP does not fit your needs, then you have to oftentimes go back and try to see an actual MD, an actual doctor. Look at him. Joey Kim right here, MD. It puts you in front of a doctor you want to see. You know, in some regions, it may take you three months, four months to actually see an actual physician, an actual MD. And then let's say you go see your MD for, I don't know, a complex case of, of ED, right? Which is what got HIMSS got started. It's not, it's, it's not like all ED cases are easy. Very often, an MD will refer you to a specialist, like a urologist, and you'll get a referral. And if you get a referral, you have to wait another three months, four months. And then you have to see the specialist. And then the specialist <laughs> gives you a drug. And then you have to probably come back in and follow up physically in person to see if that drug works. And if not, the specialist changes the drug. 
Sometimes you want to see the specialist, you know exactly who you want to see, but your insurance requires you to first see the MD and your insurance knows full well that MDs are overbooked and that they are not easy to see. It's not easy in many regions to find a primary physician. Jumping the hoops of healthcare for a major health problem is no issue. Everybody jumps the hoops of healthcare for a big health problem. And you say you have cancer, it's unfortunate, you are going to go through legacy healthcare, you're going to dedicate the time to jump those hoops. If you have an ED problem, once in a while, you're not just going to justify jumping through those hoops just for a teeny tiny minor problem. If you have a little bit of overweightedness, you're just tiny overweight, a little bit overweight, you're not going to justify going through the hoops for tiny health problems. This is where HIMSS comes in. HIMSS helps you get addressed those minor health problems very easily by giving you a clear pricing on the possible drug that you may need and by gatekeeping these drugs, you don't get access to these drugs like Amazon because, of course, they are regulated. You see the MD first, you see the, the practitioner, you see, you see the professional first, you get put in front of a doctor, you talk to them either through a video call or through a chat box or through the app, you get to see the doctor and then the doctor makes a decision and says, yes, it's appropriate, no, it's not appropriate. And then based on that, if you have a prescription, then you get prescribed with a drug and you get the drug. It's very easy. It's very convenient. It works all the time, right? It's 48 hours, 48 hours max. And most times you can see a professional in 24 hours. This is unbeatable. Like, like this is unbeatable. Seeing a professional, like seeing a urologist in 24 hours, that is unbeatable. You can't, you, you, you can't do that in the traditional world. You can do this in the digital world, which is why I think they've entirely nailed the process. And if you add up to that the brand innovation, the business model innovation, which is they have a clear pricing, if you've dealt with insurance in the United States, if you've dealt with health in the United States, you know that most often when you go see the doctor, most often you don't know how much you're getting charged. They don't know how much you're, you're getting charged. You find that out in the mail three weeks later if you get a bill or if you don't get a bill. And sometimes the bill can be surprising. That's how people get in medical debt sometimes, because they thought it was covered, it didn't end up being covered. And it happened to me the other day, you know, I wanted to go get a physical, called my insurance, was 45 minutes on the phone to figure out whether a physical was covered or not, and which tests were covered or not. And turns out, some test, the person on the phone wasn't even sure. And in full disclosure, it was Blue Cross Blue Shield, right? The, the biggest insurance. So, so, so it's like the insurance system is broken. The fact that it gives you clear pricing, it's an easy decision. You have a clear pricing with HIMSS. And, and this, to me, is revolutionary. I, 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 I have no issues imagining this in the future, for example, being offered by your employer. Like, say, you might have your employer give you like your health insurance for the big problems. And then you also have your health insurance for the small, minor issues that are no big deal that can be easily fixed with a minor drug. That's what HIMSS does. And of course, Bill's business model follows the flywheel. I love, I mean, a 21st century business, a zero to one business, they're going to use the flywheel. The flywheel is Jim Collins, good to great. You may remember if you've read any biography, any biographies of Jeff Bezos, if you've read any books about Amazon, you know, Amazon got started with the flywheel. Right, the whole the whole snowball. Hims, I think, has a great flywheel. And and one thing I'll say, you know, something new in this video. If you've been following my videos uh, on Hims, you know that that I, I sometimes uh, uh, push it a little bit, and, and I say, well, in many instances, it's cheaper than copays. Yes, it's true, it's cheaper than copays. But look how they are not advertising on price. Hims is a business that doesn't want to compete on price. They want to compete on consumer trust. They want to compete on outcomes. They are not competing on price, right? Uh, the, 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 the companies that seem com to be competing on price are the competitors of Hims. You know, like, like, like the Romans, like the these very unsavory ads on Twitter, the blue chew ads. Have you seen those ads? This, I mean, these are these ads are. are 
in, in, I mean, in, in my humble opinion, I find them pretty disgusting. It's like it's like those blue chew ads. Anyways, if that makes if that makes some sense, it's it's Hims Hims is, is is taking a positioning in the marketplace as a premium healthcare solution that is their positioning they are not taking the positioning of we are of a cheaper cost which is also this also may explain why if you look at the gross margin i'll get to the gross margin in, in margin in a second but if you look at the gross margin of hims they've they've guided a few quarters ago like a year and a half ago they were saying oh our gross margin is going to be between 70 and 75 percent what you find is that the gross margin is persistently above 80 percent demonstrating in my view that they have pricing power i was also I'll get to this in, the, in a minute, but I was also pleasantly surprised to see the average online revenue uh, per subscriber is going up at 55 bucks. It's slowly creeping up, slowly growing up. So, so positioning may very well be high end. It may very well be cheaper, more convenient, and better. Cheaper, more convenient, better. You have a zero to one business. You have a disruptor. When, 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 when a business has this combination, your customers, they're going to flock to you. They're going to fight to become customers because who would not get a product that is better, cheaper, and more convenient? Nobody. Everybody was. That's why Tesla is winning. That's why Amazon is winning. That's why legacy sometimes is in trouble. So, this was a long explanation of my enthusiasm for HIMSS, but uh, really briefly remember that HIMSS is not ED pills. It's not just ED pills. They are moving in so many different sectors, and I know the call is going on right now. I will be going through the call as soon as I'm done with recording this video. They are going, entering so many of these medium to minor health issues. They are not doing the big stuff. They are doing the small stuff, and they are going after it quite quickly so this is a business that has an exponential growth revenue component those subscribers those 1.7 million subscribers if they're very happy with whatever drug they have whenever they have another health need they're gonna think of hims they're not gonna think of jumping through the hoops of legacy healthcare they're gonna think of hims and they're, gonna, they're used to subscriptions and they don't necessarily think a 50 bucks a month subscription is that expensive so anyways Moving on. How cheap is Hims? Let's talk about cheap in another way, because even though a product is not taking a cheap positioning, they're positioning themselves as a premium product in healthcare. They are definitely a cheap stock. This is a stock that is still largely forgotten by Wall Street. Let us look at the numbers. So I just calculated some metrics based on the numbers they've just published. So their revenue is 278 million. That was Q1 of 2024, 278 million. I annualize that, so I do a 4x, so that's instant, keeping in mind that's obviously going to grow quarter over quarter, that's going to grow, but I'm, 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 I'm being conservative, and so I'm using that, I'm 4xing it, and I'm, 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 of course, dividing EV by it, so that means that this company is trading right now at 2.22x revenue instant, again, for a business growing sales at 40 plus percent for a business with an 80 plus percent gross margin for a business that is profitable that has the e of pe their net income was 11.1 million so they they are profitable so 11.1 million times four right and you you, you take ev you divide that by 11.1 times four you get it to a 55 pe right now and that really depends what time of the day you're going to look at it i don't know if the stock is up 15 percent or five percent kind of hope it's five percent I actually bought some more today. I'm very happy with the stock. Um, yeah, 55 for a company growing at 40%. You can calculate a quick peg ratio and see that this stock is cheap. At least, at least that is my view. And of course, my favorite metric, if I'm going to look at profits, if I'm going to look at the economic potential of a firm, I'm going to use adjusted EBITDA. I'm sorry, late Charlie Munger, but I do not consider EBITDA to be quote-unquote BS earnings. I, I think EBITDA makes a lot more sense for a lot more companies, including companies that are based on subscriptions, such as a company like, like Hims, which is really a SaaS business model, if you really look at it. That's 19 times. That is dirt cheap too. So finishing up with my usual valuation, and this one is my updated then valuation as of today, as of right now, 
So I, I added the number for Q1, and so I'm going from, from Q1 of this year to Q3 of last year. So the past 12 months revenue was 960 million, and I input these numbers into my spreadsheet, and I am now seeing Ames, despite the rise of plus 10%, after hours right now, despite the rise of the stock price, which I included in my EV, this stock just crossed below the 0.08. It is back again at the cheapest stock in my spreadsheet. It is the absolute cheapest out of the 40 plus stocks that I cover on this channel. This is the cheapest. I mean, there's no way around it. I don't understand why, why this stock is so cheap. And even if you do a rule of 40, now that they have 11% EBITDA margin on the rule of 40, you get at a 51%, which is which is above the 40 that, that the typical SaaS investors looks for. So I don't understand this stock is so cheap for a company that has mostly recurring revenue, for a company, as, I, as I've made that evident, for a company that is creating a new form of healthcare that is not focusing on sick care, not focusing on the end of the healthcare journey, right? They're focusing on the early days of the healthcare journey. Hims really is that company, which, which I define once again as an e-pharmacy plus an e-doctor minus insurance, minus the complexity of insurance. Eliminating insurance allows you to move very, very fast, allows you to use your data in a much faster way, allows you to have transparent pricing, allows you to have pricing that leads the customer to make a decision that makes it a no-brainer, that doesn't create a fear to go to the doctor from the customer. I think they figured out the recipe of something very special. And I'm very happy to own this stock. I've been pounding the table on this stock for a long, long, long time now. Uh, it dates back to the early, early days of the channel. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very pleased about it. I think this is a company that's going to keep performing. Um, you know, if it's not up too much, if it's only up 10%, in my view, I still consider the stock a buy and I'm still buying the stock, even if it's just up 10% from today. Remember, this was a $15 plus stock not that long ago and I still thought it was cheap. So, so cheap, 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 very happy to own it. No investment advice, no financial advice whatsoever. This was just entertainment. I am off to listen to the call. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.